Hello everybody, this is String Emmy here for the group draw for my tournament. So I've had a lot of amazing entries from you guys, so big big thanks, shout out to everyone who has entered. We we you guys smashed it with the entries this year, see <laughs> like seriously. I was at a point where I thought, oh good, I'm gonna have to go beyond sixty-four, but nope, we got sixty-four teams in total. Um, I'm not going to go through all the teams individually. I'll just uh, put it at the end of the video for you to cycle through everyone's teams if you're curious. Right, what we are here to do is the group draw. And uh, I got some uh, cool little stats here for you. So the most common dinosaur from each type. So you can see Spinosaurus. Going to see a lot of Spinos in this tournament. And how many dinosaurs of diff each type there are. So 40 fire types, which is quite high. 30 wind types and well poor grass dinosaurs get no love only 14 of them and this is like where each different dinosaur type is so there's like six, 16 people have a fire dinosaur in first and you know etc etc but we're not here about that we're here about the group draw right this is how it's gonna work so we have got all these beautiful guys here each of you separated into four pots depending on who you are past tournament history and stuff so all the newcomers are pretty much in these two pots pot three and pot four although gasmaniac and anvil have entered previous tournaments in the past and black rider entered last year as hex but they're, they're in pot three because they did worse than some of the other guys that got knocked out of the group stage that have re-entered like uh lad and shy guy oh and dexon and moors <laughs> quite a lot of people there but right Enough to jabber. We're going to get on with a draw because I can't wait for this draw to happen. Right, so each of you guys have been numbered. So we have number one for these guys, number two for these guys, etc, etc. And two teams from each pot will go into one group. So we will start off drawing eight teams from pot one. And then eight from pot two, eight from pot three, and eight pot from pot four. And then I'll go back to pot one. Pot 2, Pot 3, and Pot 4. And without further ado, let's get started. And let's see who's up first. Anytime you're ready, random number generator. Mm. Okay, that's number 8. So that's Cryonova going into Group A. Right, let's see who going into Group B. Number four. Ooh, that's me! Ooh, ooh I like being drawn out early. <laughs> ooh, it's exciting. So we got our tournament host into group B. One, two, three, four. Ooh, that's Nirvana, our runner-up from last year, going into group C. Let's see if their tournament last year was a fluke or a sign of things to come. Right, that's, ooh, that's our former champ, Ultimate Dino King. The only combatant to have ever m m reached multiple finals in my tournaments. Going into Group D. That is number 12, so MEJP10. MEJP10, an ever-improving combatant in, this in my tournaments. Well, started off winless and then got to the semi-final and then got to the last 16. I think they got last 16, or last 32, but they, they're doing well. And a perfect example for the newcomers of how far you can go. Right, number 14. Ooh, that's Blood Moon. Blood Moon, always a heavy hitter in the group stage. It doesn't seem to quite happen for him in the knockout rounds, though, but Blood Moon going into group F. Okay, number 16, Dino Tanker, the one guy who really can't catch a break in my tournaments. Maybe it will be their time to shine. Right, as for Group H, well, we can't have 16. Oh, stop giving me 16. Ooh, that's the Gozman. El Egozzi, damn it. El Egozzi going into Group H. Ah, interesting so far. Right, on to pot number 2. And we'll start at number 13. So that's Dexin. Now Dexin did win someone else's tournament not long ago. So with the exact team that they entered with for this tournament. So 
they could be a dark horse. Right, who's going to join me? Ooh, Carnotaurus Man. We're going to have a rematch. Carnotaurus Man's tournament was ended by the hosts last time. I'm sure they'll be looking to get a bit of revenge this year. Okay, that is number 11, Silver Knights. Silver Knights did pretty well, to be honest. Got out of their group last year. I'm sure they'll look to do the same this year. Ooh, Dino Fan's going to be tough in Group D, going up against Ultima Dino King. Ooh, we're getting the heavyweights. Right, now for Group E. Okay, well, we've had three. Oh, Kai Jong Koopa, formerly known as Kai. Last year, Kai got the highest points total in the group stage. It didn't help them in the knockout rounds, but, you know, they, it shows that they're going to be dangerous in Group E. Group F now. And that is Heady the Eddie. Heady, another combatant that seems to have a uh, good uh, record in the group stage, going up against Blood Moon in Group F there. Uh, we've had number 8. Number 14, we haven't had Shy Guy. Shy Guy had a rather disappointing showing in uh, last year's tournament, going out early. Right, let's see you all join Gauzy. And that is, ooh, the heavy hitter Shin Dominus going into Group H. Ooh, that's going to be a tough match for Gauzy. Right, moving on to Pot 3 with, well, moving on to the newcomers now. And we're starting with Raybow, who took part in my Champions Tournament. Didn't get to the uh, actual knockout phase of that tournament, but they were close. Okay, number 12, that is Echo Fury, going into Group B. Ooh, they're going to have a tussle with our hosts to look forward to. Right, for Group C now, Uravgrum. Also making their full debut here. Going into Group C with Silver Knights and Nirvan. Group C looking a bit open so far. Okay, ooh, we got our former quarter finalist, Gazmania, going into Group D with Ultimate Dino King and Dino Fans. Now, Gazmaniac is not to be underestimated. It's been a while since they entered my tournament, but the last time they entered, they did get to the quarters. Group D look in a very competitive group. Number 10. Aaron Plays. Aaron Plays going into Group E, making their debut. Now for Group F. Ooh, Anvil, another former combatant, making their return to the tournament. Formerly known as Nano Hunter, I believe. Going into Group F with Blood Moon and Heady. Okay, Group G, one, two, three. That's the Pivar. Pivar going into group G with Dino Tanker and Shy Guy. Now for group H. And that is number 12. We've had number 12. We've had number 5. But we haven't had number 7, and that's Tyrant King. So Tyrant King will be joining Shin Dominus and Gozzi in Group H. A heavy hitting group that could be so far. Right, now on the pot four with more newcomers. And we start with Gold, one of the very last entries, number 15. Going into Group A with Crown Over, Dexin and Raybone. Okay. Ooh, Varga. Varga is going into Group B with our host. I don't know why, it just sounds very Russian. <laughs> right, now for Group C. Okay, Mr. Ferry. Mr. Ferry going to be joining Nirvan in Group C. Right, we will be joining Ultimate. Ooh, Epic Brad. Tough, could be a tough tournament for Epic Brad there, going into Group D with the ch former champ, Ultimate Dino King, Dino Fans and Gasmaniac. Okay, so we've got Jurassic Expert going into Group E. Jurassic Group E looking quite good so far. Right, let's see who will join Blood Moon and Heady. And that is Martin Soto. 
Mark in so oh, going into group F with Heady and Blood Moon and Anvil. Number twelve is Oh, Moon. The other moon. <laughs> going into group G with Tanker, Shy Guy, and Pivar. Right, let's see who join Gozzi in group H. And the answer is Killer Wolf. Going into group H with the heavy hitters. Going to be a tough group act for Killer Wolf. Right, now that we've reached the halfway stage of the draw, we're going to go back to pot one. And we'll see where the rest of these guys end up. And uh, I've reduced the number generator down to eight. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So let's continue. And that is number eight. That is Asta. So Asta will be going into group A with Cryonova and Dexin. Ooh. Now I think these two did fight each other in the last tournament. So we're going to have a rematch between Asta and Dexin to look forward to. Right, up next we've got Oh, no! <laughs> I don't know what that sound was. That's the champ, Maastrician. Gonna go. I'm gonna copy and paste his names. I can't bloody spell it. Into group B with the hosts. And that makes group B very interesting. Well, that's gonna be an interesting rematch from last year. Into... <laughs> Ooh, Cayman Rider Chimera, formerly known as Xeno Slick Goku. Going into Group C. I'll be, uh, make things in Group C a little bit spicy. Right, let's see who goes into Group D. Oh, oh, oh my god, oh my <laughs> The former champ, Diddy Darius, going into Group D. With Ultimate Dino King, Dino Fans, and Gasmania. Wow. Now that's a group. Right, on the group E now. Ooh, our third place winner, Man, going into group E. I think that's a very kind draw for Man, to be honest. Right, on the group F. Well, we've had eight. We've had three. We've had two. But we haven't had four, and that is Dino Hunter. Going into Group F with Blood Moon, Heady, and Anvil. That makes things interesting. Right, now for Group G. So we're down to Iron Dan and Drogon. Okay, I think that's Drogon, yeah. Drogon Targaryen the Third going into Group G. And I think, given their record in the group stage, I think that's a pretty good group for them, in all honesty. Right, now for Group H. Oh, actually, no, we don't need to do Group H, because by default, Iron Dan will be in Group H. <laughs> in with the heavy hitters there, Iron Dan. Right, we're going to move on to Pot 2. Starting back with Group A. Ooh, Black Beauty, our giant killer. Going into Group A. With Crown Over and Dexin and Asta. Group A looking a bit interesting there. One, two, three, four. Ooh, that's Khalid going into Group B. Ooh, that could be a tough group for them with the Champ Maastrician and the hosts in Group B. Group B looking a very, very deadly group there. One, two, three. Okay, we've had five. We've had five. Come on. Okay, that's Dino Smash. Dino Smash going into Group C. With Nirvan and Cayman Rider and Silver Knights. Interesting. Right, let's see who will join Group D, which for me is the probably the group of death. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, bless him. Morsel being thrown to the wolves here. Going up against two former champs. Gazmaniac and Dino fans as well. <laughs> that's going to be a tough group to get out of Group D. Okay, that's one. Ooh, Arctic Warriors, our seasoned veteran, going into Group E. I think that might be a good draw for them there. And I do think they played uh, Kai in the last tournament as well, which they lost, which they got beat by. Right, now for Group F. That is, ooh, Dino Hug. Group F is looking a bit interesting here. Dino Hug going in with Dino Hunter and Blood Moon and Heady and Anvil. Right, for Group G, we're down to Ooh and Lad. 
Oh, guess the mad lad's going into group G. Which means that Ur will go into group H. And actually, we're going to have a rematch between Iron Dan and Ur. And I think that was the match that knocked Ur out of the last tournament. Okie dokie, on the pot three now. And we are starting with Conciliatory Pass, making her full debut. Being thrown into Group A with Crown over and Dexin and Asta. Right, who's going to be thrown to the Wolves? Ah, oh, bless him, his Storm. Going into Group B. <laughs> right, as for Group C, we have got one, two, three. Ooh, Kaz. Kaz going into Group C. Right, for Group D, that is M Steel. Oh, that's going to be a pretty tough group to get out of for M Steel there, with Ultima and Diddy Darius in it. Okay, now for Group E, we've had seven. Okay, we haven't had two, that's Keonte. A pretty decent draw there for Keonte. Group E definitely looking competitive. Group F, we have got Team Aloe. So the Aloe team mm, might be thrown to the wolves there a bit. Uh, number eight, number six, one, two, three, four, five. Yep, that is Ultra Lord going into Group G, which means that Black Rider will be going into Group H. Another heavy hitter in this tournament, I feel. Wow, Group H has all the heavy hitters. <laughs> all these guys hit re have dinos that hit really hard. Right, now we're going to conclude the group draw now with pot four. Right, that is number two. So Sunlight Rabbit, our Korean competitor. For some reason, they wanted me to know that. Going into group A with Crown Over, Dexin and Aster. And that completes group A. One, two, three. So, oh, pull, oh, pull Mulberry. Thrown into... Group B with two former champs, a tournament host as well. <laughs> Going to be very tough to get out of Group B. Oh, that's Team Argentina. Bit of a weird name. And no, it's not a bot team. It is an actual person. And they're going into Group C. Finishing up a very competitive and a very open group, in my opinion. Right, as for Group D... And it's the D-team. Kind of fitting, to be honest. Even if they are thrown to the lion's den. <laughs> right, as for Group E, that is Prismbo. Prismbo making their full debut here, going into Group E. Again, another another feistly open group. Right, as for Group F, we've had two, we've had three, but we haven't had one. So Benjamina going into Group F. With Blood Moon Heady, Dino Hunter in there. Dino Hug as well. And Anvil. Right, we're down to our last two. Cudgel Booth and Futuristic. One, two, three. Okay, so Futuristic is going into Group G. Which means Cudgel Booth to go into Group H. And that, my friends, completes the groups. Well, the group draw. Are you really, are you looking forward to your matches? Are you happy with your group? From a personal perspective... I'm probably happry with that, apart from having Maastrician again. <laughs> but I'm pretty happy with that group. Probably would say this is the group of death. Groups D and F are probably the toughest groups to get out of there. Like group D, you've got Ultima and Diddy Darius, the two previous champions before Maastrician. Then you have Gas Maniac, who got to the quarterfinals during their last time they entered. And Dino fans had a good showing in the Champions Tournament. Gonna be tough to get out of Group D. But other than that, I think a lot of these groups are open. Group C and E especially, very open. I think Group A is an underrated group as well. You have Cryonova, who had 5 out of 5 last year in the group. Dexin, possible Dark Horse. Aster as well, getting be you know, doing better with every tournament. Black Beauty, our giant killer. Um, down here, you have uh, you have MEJP10 again. Seems to get better with every tournament. Kaijon Cooper had... The strongest record in the group stage last year. Marn also had a good tournament during their debut. Arctic Warriors is always up there. And, well, Group H. So many heavy hitters here. You've got Gozzi, Shin Dominus, Tyrant King, Iron Dan. Ugh. 
and Black Rider, I think they all have really hard hitting teams. Uh, Group G is looking open as well. Drogon always seems to do well in my tournaments. I, I'll probably say Drogon will be the favourite to top that group. And Group F is, you know, really open as well and, com and competitive. You've got Blood Moon always does well in the group stage, as does Heady. Dino Hunter, can they back up last year's strong tournament with another one? Dino Hug can do well. Yeah, it's going to be really exciting, and I, I honestly can't wait to get started. Actually, who we, who we got first? Let's have a look. So it'll be one versus six. So it'll be Cryo Nova going up against Black Beauty, a rematch from last year, in fact, because Cryo Nova did beat Black Beauty last year. Actually, my, my first match will be against Khalid. And we'll have Ultimate Dino King versus Moore's Lut. Dino Smash going up against Nirvan. MEJP10 taking on Arctic Warriors. Blood Moon going up against Dino Hug. LP Gauzy taking on Ur. Uh, Dino Tanker taking on Lad. Gonna be so many exciting matches. Which matchup are you looking forward to the most? Pop a comment down below. And I hope you enjoyed. And, okay, one more thing before I leave. I will say the tournament will probably start next week. Just for, the, just for those of you that are curious. So I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, ta-ta!